Ms. Conley, how do you think the legislature in Hartford views southeastern Connecticut, and what would you do as a lawmaker to change or improve this view? And please be specific about how you would uh, work to bring about whatever change you might recommend. Many folks in Hartford, and, and not just Hartford, Fairfield County, many folks who aren't, from, aren't living in our area think of southeastern Connecticut as EB and Mystic, with the casinos on their way down. Uh, we are a lot more than that. We are just like every other town. We have many wonderful families. We have children who need funding for schools. We have roads that need funding. We have police officers that need funding. We are the same as every other area. We do have wonderful businesses of EB, and we have great tourism of Mystic. Um, my opponent proposed a tax that would have had a big effect in that. Luckily, it did not go very far. But what I plan on doing is the same thing that I've done my entire life, is standing up and speaking out, telling people that it is not just EB and Mystic down here in Groton, that it is everyone just like West Hartford, just like all the other towns that we have in Connecticut. We have our unique needs, but we do not need to be on the outskirts of the redheaded stepchild that doesn't get enough funding. Mr. Scott? I, I think that uh, Hartford sees a lot of potential in eastern Connecticut. Um, we. Uh, I think we've, we're reaching the bottom of our economic swing. Uh, at the moment, we unfortunately have uh, the reputation of being one of the ten worst economies in the country right now, uh, and that is something that uh, we're working very hard to fix. Um, you know, it, there's all kinds of business opportunities uh, that are available, um, you know, outside of what we've already got, and we need to create a, a regulatory environment where, and a taxing environment where uh, these things uh, can come here and thrive. Um, you know, uh, one of the things that was just commented on was uh, the proposal that I had put in um, at the behest of the Groton Town Council uh, for a hotel tax that would have been paid for by visitors to this region that would have supplemented uh, income to the town of Groton and actually would have had the potential to reduce um, property tax, uh, you know, here in, in Groton. And, uh, you know, that uh, I think needs to be given some further con uh, consideration, um, but we'll see how that goes forward. Um, but I, I think uh, that uh, people see uh, Eastern Connecticut as a force. There certainly was a great change in leadership uh, two years ago. Um, I think uh, people uh, from this region were, were tired of, of what they had for representation and wanted to see some change, and, and we're working hard to bring that, that change uh, back to Eastern Connecticut. If you were re-elected, you would reintroduce the hotel tax? Um, I'll work with my caucus on that um, and see um, what we can do going forward on that. I'm not uh, going to commit to reintroducing that at this time. Thank you. You all set? The hotel tax is not business friendly. It is a tax that would not just affect our, our, res our tourists coming here for fun. It is a tax that would significantly affect our hotel's profit line because more than, than vacationers, what they get are business conventions. And that business convention can just as easily go to those tribal lands, which can pay different taxes. They can just as easily go over to Rhode Island. And if Mystic Marriott and the hotels, the Hilton and the Hilton Garden Inn cannot make their profits when these business travelers leave, we are going to have more of a problem in our Groton budget. So we need to be business friendly and not propose new taxes. If I, if I could comment on that, uh, four mm -hmm. years ago, the General Assembly uh, increased the lodging tax from, uh, I think it was 12 percent to 15 percent. And that, uh, the reason for the increase was to fund tourism here, it was to provide, I think it was roughly a, a $15 million bucket of money for advertising uh, tourism here in the state of Connecticut. Uh, and it, that did not impact uh, visitors, that did not impact uh, um, people uh, attending conferences here in the state of Connecticut. Um, what's sad about that is that over the last uh, year, Governor Malloy has made the decision to pocket that money and use it in other aspects of our government, including things like a mileage tax, and, and he closed our regional tourism districts, uh, which, uh, you know, is a, an incredible loss of knowledge and everything else uh, here in the region. Uh, you know, for every dollar that's spent on marketing tourism, depending on who you talk to, the return is somewhere between five and seven dollars, uh, and uh, uh, that was an unfortunate cut. And you know, three hundred thousand dollars was spent on a mileage uh, tax study that probably could have been spent on keeping at least the Eastern Connecticut tourism district alive. Maybe I didn't understand you. I thought you said at first that the um, 
hotel tax of 15% was supposed to go towards tourism, but it didn't increase the visitors? Did, did it, it didn't decrease the visitors, it is what I said. The, 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 the okay. increase was from, I believe it was 12%, they increased it to 15%, and, and it, it did not low. reduce okay. uh, visitors to the state of Connecticut. Okay, thank you. Um, the next question is from Tim Cotter to John Scott. Uh, 